Hello and welcome to The Voice of Iron, and on this session, we'll be reading about the Adder. The Adder is a ship manufactured by Zorgan Peterson. The original model debuted in 2914 as a product of Outworld Workshops, but Zorgan Peterson subsequently acquired the rights. The Adder is a small multi-purpose ship known for its sturdiness and reliability. As the cheapest ship with a Class II hardpoint and an armor hardiness on par with the Cobra Mark III, the Adder is a viable early choice for combat. The hardpoint also gives the Adder the distinction of being the cheapest ship capable of mounting a Class II mining laser or seismic charge launcher, making it a serviceable vessel for mining. Furthermore, it has a relatively high jump range potential for its size and price range, and can carry up to 30 tons of cargo, allowing it to tackle exploration and trading with ease. The Adder's adaptability and pricing make it ideal for new pilots seeking to upgrade from the Sidewinder Mark I. The Adder is a versatile, multi-purpose ship that can take on a variety of roles when outfitted correctly, due to its high cargo capacity and good combat efficiency. It can be considered an upgraded hauler, and even has a very similar appearance. As a trader, the Adder is the best ship available until the Cobra Mark III becomes an option. With 26 tons of space available when unshielded, it can make a decent profit from selling cargo and can complete most trading missions. Unlike the hauler, it also retains a good combat efficiency and has decent armor for its price, letting it tank hits. Furthermore, it has good maneuverability, allowing it to dodge an interdiction with ease, and it is capable of mass locking several small ships. As a combat vessel, the Adder is surprisingly effective in the role. When compared to the Eagle Mark II, the Adder is less agile but has far better shielding, an additional utility slot, better armor, and a Class II hardpoint, giving it the advantage in both durability and firepower. However, the Adder's damage potential pales in comparison to the Viper Mark III. For this reason, it's better suited for mixed combat roles, such as piracy. The Adder's Class II hardpoint serves it well in a variety of combat loadouts, and is of sufficient size to fit several power play weapons. The main weakness of the Adder when outfitting it for combat is an undersized Class II power distributor, which hampers the performance of power-hungry weapons like lasers, railguns, and plasma accelerators. This can be circumvented by using kinetic weapons instead, but these can run out of ammunition, which requires restocking ammo at a station, or having the necessary materials on hand to synthesize more on the fly. An optimal compromise would be to install a mix of kinetic and energy weapons, as the Adder has an excellent hardpoint convergence. A fixed or fixed gimbaled loadout is most effective. While the Adder's hardpoints do have a wide firing arc, which would benefit turreted weapons, it's not advisable to install them. Turrets severely limit the damage output and are not needed on a ship as maneuverable as the Adder. As a miner, the Adder is the best ship available at its price range and will do very well until the Cobra Mark III can be afforded. Its Class II hardpoint allows it to mount a Class II mining laser, and combined with two Class I mining lasers in the smaller hardpoints, it can achieve a very efficient mining speed. The Adder also has a respectable amount of compartment space, enough to carry a decent amount of ores. For exploration, the Adder can achieve a maximum jump range of about 32 light years before engineering. While this is less than the hauler, keep in mind the Adder has a larger Class III frameshift drive, meaning mass from modules and cargo has less of an impact on jump range. Thus, the Adder is an appealing ship for long range or rare goods trading or deep space mining. The Adder's larger fuel tank and capacity for a larger fuel scoop allow it to make more jumps before it needs to refuel, and also shortens refueling times. This makes it an acceptable option for long-distance travel using the Neutron Highway. The Adder's inexpensiveness and respectable general-purpose capabilities make it a rugged, attractive craft, especially for newer commanders. Unlike many other ships, the Adder has few notable downsides and can take on any role, especially trading and exploration, more than adequately. The weapon hardpoints are located as follows. Two Class I hardpoints on the underside of the ship, and one Class II hardpoint on the top of the ship behind the cockpit. Additionally, the wings exhibit a small hinge which allows them to fold inwards when the landing gear is deployed, reducing its landing profile. The primary pilot seat is offset to the right of the center line, and a secondary pilot seat is adjacent to it, making the Adder compatible with multi-crew. Notably, the Adder is the only ship that uses Class III thrusters and has multi-crew functionality. When equipped with Class III Enhanced Performance Thrusters, the largest size of the module available, it can achieve impressive speeds, and can be used as a multi-crew racing ship. That concludes today's reading, and thank you for listening to my voice.